few yards from the Houses of Parliament, thousands gathered at St. Margaret's Westminster for the wedding of Miss Mary Churchill and Captain Christopher Soames of the Coldstream Guards. Early arrivals among the 800 guests were the Prime Minister and Mrs. Attlee, closely followed by Lord and Lady Mountbatten. A little later came Mrs. Churchill, while the crowds around the church door grew larger still. At last came that long-awaited moment, the arrival of the bride herself, accompanied by her father, who was to give her away. <laughs> Tremendous applause greeted Mr. Churchill as he stepped from the car, smiling happily at this, the wedding of his youngest daughter, Mary. And here comes the bride, radiant in her gown of white satin, a coronet of orange blossom holding in place her long tulle veil. Spectators had been waiting long and chilly hours for this, and the front rows certainly got a view from every kind of angle. Another big moment as after the ceremony the bride appears once more, proudly escorted by Captain Soames and giving a special greeting to the RSM of the Coldstream Guards. Now came the problem of getting to their car, and a tough proposition it looked. Surging round on every side, the crowds wished good luck and happiness for the young couple who first met only four months ago. A heartwarming send-off in which we all joined. <laughs> Lastly came the greatest demonstration of all, as a roar of cheers greeted the appearance of Mr. Churchill himself. Yes, for the moment anyway, the crowds forgot all about the cold and gave their great war leader one of the most affectionate ovations of his whole career. In the end, Mr. Churchill was almost carried to his car amid scenes that brought back memories of not so long ago. And so the triumphal procession came to an end and the winter's gloom had been lightened by one of London's happiest weddings. Mm -hmm.